Hi, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to uh, Back to School Night here at Poly High School. Before anything else, I would like to introduce my name. My name is Mr. Lobedices and I am the uh, algebra teacher here at Poly High School. I teach uh, special day classes for students uh, grades 9, 10, and 11. So, so far I've been doing this uh, career or teaching at the uh, high school for the past 16 years now. But before anything else, let me uh, uh, introduce it to you my uh, bio uh, using my uh, canvas so let me share my screen first okay it will take a little bit uh, longer but it, it will be easy for you uh, to see the visual uh, part of my uh, presentation and uh, there you go so if you're going to look at the uh, uh, the right side I hope you can see it uh, it's right there so let me uh, put my screen on the other side so that you can see it uh, Okay, so here you can see uh, my uh, homepage, and uh, you will see here it says Mr. Lobedis' homepage. Welcome to Mr. Lobedis' homepage, SDCMM teacher, Algebra AD and Algebra 89 or Pre Algebra 89 at Polytechnic High School. So, those are the two courses that I uh, teach here at school. So, the moment, uh, usually this is my homepage, so the students are able to see this as well because it's all connected to their. Uh, uh, homepage of their respective classes. So this is my time uh, to, do, to introduce myself uh, via online and I'm very honored to meet uh, you all in a very unique and special setup. This is a virtual uh, way of uh, welcoming back uh, my uh, previous students and welcome to my new students here at Poly High School. And I know it is a little bit uh, new to everyone that uh, having all the learning via online or uh, virtual using the Zoom. And on top of that, we uh, learned the new uh, learning management systems, which is now we call as Canvas. So again, I am Mr. Lovidesis. I am 49 years old and I'm originally from the Philippines. So I came here in the United States in uh, 2001 and uh, uh, work as a special ed teacher. I started teaching in Bay Area, which is in Oakland, California. So I taught at Spectrum Centers, which uh, we cater all uh, special needs kids, which is uh, a private school. So I taught there for two years. And then after two years, I moved here in Long Beach, California, last 2004. And I started teaching at Jordan High School as an algebra teacher. So I taught there for um, four years. And then after four years, I uh, transferred here at Poly High School. So prior to that, I uh, earned my uh, uh, call this a bachelor's degree at University of Santo Tomas as a BS in architecture and uh, earned my master's degree as well at University of Guam uh, uh, specialized in special education. So after I graduated from the university I went to Micronesia as just to visit the place and explore the islands. You will find that in the uh, South Pacific region and there I uh, was given a chance to teach at the local high school, one of the high schools in the Federated States of Micronesia and what we call Yap High School. So I taught there for two years and then after that I uh, moved to uh, Saipan and then I taught in a Catholic school again as a algebra, uh, advanced algebra teacher there as well. So I taught there only for almost a year and then I uh, moved to uh, Oakland Bay Area, California. So uh, prior to that one as well, uh, I earned my master's degree at University of Guam. So through, as a matter of fact, through distant learning education. So if you will research, we are the first batch of the uh, distance learning education in a master's program in the uh, Micronesia or the Federated States of Micronesia. So I, I was one of the chosen one uh, while I was uh, teaching there at Yap High School. So anyway, so last 2004, I was given a chance to teach at uh, uh, Jordan High School as an algebra teacher. So from there, I uh, beginning to love my job as special ed teacher at the same time teaching algebra. So. Other than that, I enjoy the running, uh, swimming, uh, uh, stretching, uh, photography, baking, and cooking and gardening. I have uh, three kids. Uh, there are uh, uh, two in middle school and one in elementary. My wife, she's just an engineer, so she helped me out a lot uh, with my uh, computer stuff. So let's go now to my uh, uh, homepage. So as I mentioned a while ago, the moment you open the page, you will see the Zoom. And then this is the Algebra AB, and then it's pre-Algebra 8-9, Syllabus, Schedule, and Online Textbook. But basically, those are the things that I'm going to uh, discuss. So the moment the students uh, get into their class, they will have this Zoom. So they're going to click this one, and then it will uh, lead them all the way down to their uh, courses. 
So let me go first to Algebra AB. So in Algebra AB, you will see this homepage. So these are the homepage of my students who are taking Algebra AB. So they will see me here, the welcome to Algebra AB. Once you click that one, it will lead you back to my homepage. So again, it will lead me there. So once the students get to the homepage, they're going to click the Zoom link and I will go straight right there. So see, so now I have to uh, go to the other uh, side. <laughs> now I don't know where I'm going, but anyway, so that's, that's the thing. And then this one, uh, the, uh, the, that's the Zoom link. So they don't have to uh, input their uh, link. All they have to do is to click this button. And then the other one is the syllabus for this course. So the syllabus for this course is, once you click that, it will show you the uh, PDF uh, file on this one. So let me uh, share you with that one, okay? Let me stop this sharing of that one. So I'm going to show you my uh, syllabus, okay? So the syllabus is right here, okay? So that you can see it. So there you go. So this is the course dis uh, description. It's a fundamental purpose of the Algebra 1 course is to formalize and extend uh, mathematics that students learn in the middle grades, okay? So all of those information. Uh, it also has the uh, course materials they're going to use, but basically uh, the textbook that they're going to use is uh, uh, this one. This is the textbook that they're going to use. This is the Algebra 1 for this uh, Algebra AB. So I asked my students to secure uh, their uh, textbook for that one. And for the uh, pre-algebra uh, 8, 9, this is the textbook that they're going to use. So basically, if you notice, the course outline for algebra AB and the course outline for pre-algebra 8, 9 is similar. The only difference is the course description and also the uh, materials and the textbook that they're going to use. But the... Uh, uh, consequences, the recommended uh, materials are the same. So it is a recommended, not necessarily they have to purchase it, but I'm recommending them to have at least they have their uh, pencils or pens, uh, calculator, ruler, graphing paper, and uh, notebook so that they can write their answer and then the solution. So what are the expectations in this class? So a student must be on time and equipped to learn, meaning they have to be uh, uh, on Zoom on time and ready to learn. It seems like they have to treat that they're uh, coming to the class. Another thing is uh, they have to uh, uh, foster something appropriate behavior, a positive behavior that uh, uh, in uh, Zoom they have to turn off their uh, 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 microphone and uh, always turn on their uh, video so that I can uh, see them at the same time, recognize them, especially when I'm checking the attendance and when I ask them to show their uh, work. So another thing is no eating or drinking allowed in Zoom classroom. Language and conversation must be appropriate for school. So those are the expectations that I'm asking from my students. So what are the consequences uh, if students are not following uh, the expectation? So the strike one is a verbal warning. Second is individual conference using breakout rooms via Zoom. Three is called the parents or guardian. And then four is the referral to administration. So my policy is very easy and simple. So everyone must come to uh, class prepared and on time. Uh, talking uh, during a uh, Zoom class is only allowed when called on or with permission. Eating, chewing, drinking is allowed only during nutrition or break time. Uh, the use of electronic devices uh, are not allowed. And they have to treat their uh, peers themselves, their teachers and other uh, respected uh, uh, people in the uh, Zoom with uh, respect and dignity. And then the very important uh, uh, policy that I asked in each uh, student is everyone must plan to succeed no matter what, big or small. So late work, uh, I still accept it even though I put a uh, deadline because uh, I do believe that everyone should be given a chance to pass and at the same time to show their effort and their work. So as I have said, if they, there is a deadline on that particular classwork, test or quizzes, still they'll be able to submit it in a late uh, called this uh, matter or ma manner. So makeup work is the same thing. I still allow that one. So nothing to worry about that one. So as long as they're uh, doing their best and submitting their late work, that's fine with me. So the grades, uh, here's the grade. So attendance, 20%. Uh, warm up classwork 10%, test 30%, uh, project 30%, and participation is 10%. So the total of 100%. 
A, ranging from 90 to 60% uh, percent to 100%, B, 95 to 90%, C, 89 to 80%, D, 79 to 65%, and F is 64% down. So I don't think some students uh, will get to that uh, point because I still uh, believe that everyone must succeed and given a chance to uh, submit whatever they're missing. So this part, the photo video release, I want them to, uh, to fill it up and uh, let the parents sign this. So that's just in case that I need uh, the photo uh, or a video for the class so that the other students who did not uh, attend, then they'll be able to access to my lesson. So this is uh, like a, uh, a permission that I am, uh, you know, ask permission to parents or students that I'm going to take a picture and video. So that is the, uh, uh, what I call is the, uh, the syllabus for this course. As I have mentioned I got a while ago, pre-algebra 8, 9 is similar uh, syllabus uh, with the uh, algebra A, B. The only difference is the course uh, description and also the materials they're going to use. But other than that, when it's the same in terms of uh, 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 recommendation, recommended materials, expectation, consequences, policies, uh, grades, and grading uh, way. So that's it. So let me stop this one and then I'll uh, go back again to my uh, uh, this uh, my uh, hold on. Let me go back to my course right here. Okay, my let me share it back again to you. My homepage right here. So what are they going to uh, uh, see? So that's the syllabus, and next is the schedule. So students needs to know this schedule because sometimes they ask you. Where's the schedules? It's all the schedules are embedded in the uh, in the uh, uh, course uh, homepage. So you will see here. This is the schedule we use. Uh, all minimum day on the first day of school, and then uh, minimum days on the second to eleven of September. And this is the regular bell schedule, zero to uh, uh, eight period. So students knows that the schedule, and also I attach the calendar for the whole school year. So the uh, and the legend is right here on the upper left side of the calendar. And uh, you see here we have uh, green meaning even day two four six eight, uh, yellow means odd which is one three five seven. So this is also the special date, so the student will be aware aware what are the schedules on date on that specific uh, month that they need to remember because they also listed the uh, the tests. All important dates are listed right here, and also this one the special dates. Okay, let's uh, go back now to uh, home page again. So let me click the. Uh, it's an algebra A, B right here. So next is, uh, other than the uh, uh, Zoom link syllabus schedule, they have also access to the online textbook. So once they click this one, all they have to do is to, uh, to log in uh, using their uh, uh, school login and also password in order for them to get access to the online textbook. So here you will see the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the textbook that they're going to use. So this is, uh, let me, uh, uh, go back to uh, so that you'll see it right here. So for uh, algebra uh, A, B, this is the textbook that they're going to use and it's easy because you can get access to the pages that I assigned them to, to work on. So let's say for example this is page 12 through 13 so they can uh, you know blow it up like that one and then I'll just assign them to this number and then they have to go right there. So that's the textbook for algebra A, B. And then for algebra uh, uh, three, uh, I mean, algebra, pre algebra eight, nine, this is the textbook that they're going to use. So as I have uh, mentioned a while ago, this is the same, uh, call this, uh, uh, call this uh, expectation that I'm asking from my students that every time I assign something, all they have to do is to look on the textbook and uh, look for that page number and for example, I assign them page uh, 10, so they enter the page right there, and then they will see the problem right here. So that's how easy it is to get access to the online textbook. So what they're going to learn in uh, pre-algebra 8.9? So pre-algebra 8.9, they're going to learn the equation, uh, transformation of geometry, linear equation, system of linear equation, and functions, exponents, and root and statistics. So that is for the pre-algebra 8.9. So now for the uh, algebra AB, so this is the algebra AB, the homepage. So what they're going to learn from there is there are only three units. So equations and equalities, 
linear functions and system of linear function and exponential uh, function. So those are the uh, the topic that they're going to uh, they're going to discuss for the whole school year. So basically, it's uh, it's uh, that's the way it is. It's easy to to follow along the moment they uh, log into their uh, homepage and then they will see it so that they know what to expect. So it's right here. So we're still on this uh, called this unit equation and equalities. So hopefully by the end of November, we'll be able to move to linear function and uh, system of linear functions. So I think that's all that I can, uh, I will cover today. So I have this again, go back to my homepage. So uh, again, students will be able to get access to my instruction via Zoom and also through Algebra AB and then Pre-Algebra AB. And it's the same thing, the syllabus, a schedule, and an online textbook. So I have the same, uh, I call this uh, privilege for the kids to uh, get access to those. So my goal for this school year is for my students to pass and at the same time to learn something new and that they can use for the next level of their math. And uh, I am hoping that they'll be able to uh, to stay focused and uh, manage their time when they're attending my uh, Zoom class or whether it is Algebra AB or Pre-Algebra 8-9. And I'm still hoping that everyone will be uh, able to, you know, independently ask questions and communicate with me via online or maybe email and address their concern, especially if they don't understand what they're talking about or the lesson. Again, I am here to teach them and at the same time to help them succeed in their next uh, level of their algebra uh, AB or pre-algebra 8-9. Again, that's all that I can share for my class and thank you so much for uh, watching. I know my video is a little bit longer, but my apology. So this is my first time to, uh, to do this online. Again, uh, thank you so much and I am looking forward to meet you hopefully virtually uh, in the uh, next few days to come. Again, thank you so much for coming over watching my video and happy back to school night to everyone. Good night.